Okay, so we're now on the second part of module one. So we're going to talk about power series in, th in this uh, video lecture. The Bessel and the Jones equations are special types of second order differential equations which can be solved using power series methods. These equations occur frequently in connections with spherical problems, electrical fields, vibrations, heat conduction, and many other engineering applications. So power series centered at the point X of O is an infinite series of the form. So you have a sub n, x minus x sub o raised to the power n. So n will take the values from 0 to positive infinity. And this is the expanded form. So for example, this series, uh, this expression is a series centered at 5. Okay. And at n equals 0, you have the first term as 1. And then when n equals 1, you have 2 here, x minus 5. This is when uh, n is, is equal to 2, and so on. The interval of convergence is a set of all real numbers no, for, for which the series converges. Suppose R is the radius of convergence of a power series. If R is positive, then the power series converges for the absolute value of x minus x sub o less than R and diverges for the absolute value of x minus x sub o greater than R. The interval Okay, this interval is called the interval of convergence of the power series. So when R is equal to 0, then the series will converge at the point X sub O and has no interval, no interval of convergence. When R is infinite, the series converges for all possible values at X. So note that the series may or may not converge to the end point of the interval. So in the solution uh, using the power uh, power series, if the summation or if the power series is equal to zero, then and r is positive for all x in the in this interval, then your a sub n is equal to zero for all values of n, and for non-homogeneous equation, we equate the coefficients of similar terms. Now, let's consider solution near an ordinary point. This is known as the power series method. A point X sub O is called an ordinary point of the differential equation if the second order differential equation in the following form, so we may call this as a standard equation where the coefficient of the second order is 1, and then the first order, the coefficient is de designated by P, P, P of x, and then the coefficient of y is P of x. So this is a homogeneous differential equation. Now if both P and Q are analytic at x sub o, the other, uh, then it is an ordinary point. Otherwise, the point is said to be a singular point. Now for the existence theorem, if x sub o is an ordinary point of the equation, okay, in the standard form, then there exist two linearly independent solutions you know, in the following form. So you can uh, simplify the power series into uh, sum of two functions, so remember that this is second order, so a sub o and a sub 1 will be considered as your two arbitrary constants, 
and then y sub 1 and y sub 2 are any functions no, associated with a sub o and a sub 1. So this will converge in the interval, the absolute value of x less than r, with r is greater than 0. So for simplicity, we always use x equals 0 as your ordinary point. Okay? So the interval of convergence will just be from negative r to pass your x will be from negative r to positive r of course r will always be uh, uh, greater than zero or positive so the functions y and y sub 2 are two linearly independent solutions analytic at x equal zero okay and then as i have said a while ago a sub o and a sub 1 are two arbitrary constants so we always take r to be the shortest distance from x equal 0 to a singular point. So we always base the the radius okay, to be the shortest distance from, from a singular point. For example, determine whether x equal 0 or x equal 1 is an ordinary point of the differential equation. 1 minus x squared y double prime minus 2xy prime plus 12y equals 0 and also determine the radius of uh, convergence. So going back, okay, we multiply, okay, we want this to be equal to 1, the coefficient. That should be in the standard form. Okay. So, we multiply this by 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay, so you get y double prime here minus 2x over 1 minus x squared and then your y prime plus 12 over 1 minus x squared y equals 0. So, this will be your p of x and this will be your u of x. Okay, so And then we we find the analyticity or the singular point no, of P and Q. Okay, so in this case, this is uh, can be written as one minus x, one plus x. So the 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 function P of x no, will uh, not be or undefined at x equals 1 for this factor and then x equals negative 1. Okay? So, and in the same manner, q uh, is also not defined at x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. So, the two are actually uh, singular points, no? singular points of p and uh, of the differential equation. So we see that both functions are defined at x equals 0. So meaning um, x equals 0 is an ordinary point. Okay. And then because, no, because P and Q are both defined no, at x equals 0. And so by the existence theorem, the given differential equation has a power series solution okay, at x equals 0. So uh, x equals 1 and x equals negative 1 are the singular points. And then the closest singular point is x equals 1 or x equals negative 1. So the radius will be r equals 1. So, this is the 
center at x equals 0. And then you have negative 1 here. And then this is positive 1. So these are the, the two singular points. And then this is your radius. 